section 23 part 2 we're now going to look at some trig curves that have been shifted vertically up and down so these can be written for example in the form a sine bx plus c so the plus c bit indicates a vertical shift now we'll find the amplitude and be the number of curves in 360, the number of cycles in 360 is normal but then we need to think about calculating C which is the vertical shift so the amplitude, well the curve goes up to 4 and down to 2 so that's a total vertical shift, that's a total height rather of 2 half that and I get 1, so A is equal to 1, the amplitude is 1 B is the number of curves in 360 degrees, so that's 1, 2 B is equal to 2. Now to calculate the vertical shift, a good way of thinking about it is if a curve hasn't been vertically shifted then it will go to its amplitude so it should reach its amplitude at its peak height and if it doesn't it's been vertically shifted so the amplitude of this curve is 1 which means the curve should go up to 1 it goes up to 4 which means it's been moved up 3 units, therefore C is equal to 3. Second one over here, the curve goes up to minus 1, down to minus 3, that's a total height of 2, half that, and A is equal to 1. There's 1, 2 complete curves in 360. So this is now the curve A cos Bx plus C. So the curve should go up to its amplitude, the amplitude is 1. The curve should go up to 1, but it only goes up to minus 1, which means it's been moved down 2 units. Therefore, C is equal to minus 2. This one down here. Again, it's of the form A cos X, A cos B, X plus C. So the curve goes up to 2, down to 0, that's a total height of 2, half that and I get 1, A is equal to 1. There's 1, 2, 3 complete curves in 360, B is equal to 3. Now the curve should go up to its amplitude, it should go up to 1, but it goes up to 2, therefore it's been moved up 1 unit and C is equal to 1. This one is Y equals a sine bx plus c so the curve goes up to 2 and down to 0 that's the total height of 2 half that and I get the amplitude which is 1 there's then 1 2 complete curves in 180 so 2 complete curves in 180, that's 4 complete curves in 360, B is equal to 4. The amplitude is 1, so the curve should go up to 1, but it goes up to 2. So it's been moved up 1 unit, and C is equal to 1. And here's another few. So this one goes up to 0, down to minus 2. It's a total height of 2. Half that to get the amplitude in A is equal to 1. There's one curve in 120, so that's 3 curves in 360. Now, the curve should go up to its amplitude, it should go up to 1, only goes up to 0, therefore it's been moved down 1, C is equal to minus 1. This one, the curve goes up to minus 1 down to minus 3, that's total height of 2, half that to get amplitude of 1. There is 1, 2, 3 curves in 180, that's 6 curves in 360, b is equal to 6. The amplitude is 1, so the curve should go up to 1, it only goes up to minus 1, therefore it's been moved down 2 units, c is equal to minus 2. Next one, the curve goes up to 3, down to minus 1, that's total height of 4, half that to get 2, amplitude is 2. There's one complete curve in 360 degrees, B is equal to 1. 
the curve should go up to its amplitude, which is 2, but it goes up to 3, so it's been shifted up 1 unit, c is equal to 1. Ok, next one. The curve goes up to 2, down to minus 4, that's total height of 6, half it to get the amplitude of 3. There's one curve in 360 degrees, so b is equal to 1. The curve should go up to its amplitude, so it should go up to 3, it only goes up to 2, therefore it's been moved down 1 unit, c is equal to minus 1. Ok, we're now going to look at a different shift, which is going to be a horizontal shift, and that's denoted by the bracket here. And this plus b is called a face shift, so the face shift is a horizontal shift. Now, these four, we're told, are sine curves. Now, if we have a wee think about what a sine curve looks like, it climbs from zero and looks like that. So the important thing with the sine curve is it climbs from zero. Now we can see with this one that this one starts to climb from 60, which means the curve has been shifted to the right by 60 degrees. So it's been shifted in the positive direction by 60 degrees. Now it's been shifted in the positive direction. We can, I think, counterintuitively there. That means that B is equal to minus 60. Here's the amplitude is normal, so up to 2, down to minus 2, that's 4, half that to get 2. So in here is the horizontal shift. So you can see that the curve has moved 60 degrees to the right. It's been pulled in the positive direction by 60 degrees. So instead of plus 60, we think counterintuitively there, and minus 60. This one you can see has been pulled 30 degrees to the right, so it doesn't climb from 0, it climbs from 30. Therefore, for this one, b would be equal to minus 30, so it's been pulled in the positive direction. But instead of plus 30, we say minus 30. The amplitude up to 3 down to minus 3, that's 6, half it and get 3. Next one, start with the amplitude this time, up to 4 down to minus 4. Half that, and I get 4. Now remember that the sine curve should climb from zero. Well, this one we can say climbs at minus 60. So this curve has actually just been pulled to the left by 60 degrees, so pulled in the negative direction. So pulled in the negative direction. Again, counterintuitive. We think minus 60, but it's actually plus 60. Next one, the amplitude up to 3, down to minus 3, half that, and I get the amplitude, which is 3. Total height of 6, half that to get 3. The curve climbs from minus 90, so it's been pulled in the negative direction by 90 degrees, so it's been pulled to minus 90, which means B is plus 90. Okay, next one. We're told that these are cosine curves which have been shifted. So think about the cosine curve. It starts to drop from a peak at zero. Now we can see that this one starts to drop from a peak at 90 degrees. So this one's been moved 90 degrees to the right. 90 degrees in the positive direction. So that would be B equals minus 90. Amplitude up to 3 down to minus 3, half that to get 3. This one, the amplitude is 2. It starts to drop from 60, so it's been moved 60 degrees to the right, 60 in the positive direction, so B is equal to minus 60. For this one, it starts to drop from a peak at minus 60, so this one, this curve's been pulled 60 degrees to the left in the negative direction, so B is plus 60, and the amplitude straightforward, that's 4. The amplitude with this one straightforward again is 5. This curve starts to drop from a peak at minus 90, so it's been pulled 90 degrees to the right, to the left rather, in the negative direction, but we think counterintuitively again, B is equal to plus 90.